Okay, Happy New Year everybody. Here we go. First video of the year. So, this is another crazy saxophone. So this is a Steve Goodson model saxophone. So, uh, if you're not familiar with Steve Goodson, uh, Google him. He's a great guy down in New Orleans, uh, one of the top uh, saxophone authorities maybe in the world, um, especially according to him. And um, does designs for a lot of other companies, uh, including his own company. So, according to him, I gave him a call. Uh, this horn was made somewhere in the 1980s uh, to his specs. So, just crazy bells and whistles on this thing. So, firstly, double arms on all the lower keys. On the low C, it'll be, uh, it'll be flat, So, which is really cool. Um, a four-point brace on the bell down here to keep the bell nice and vibrating up here. And just a short little guard. So, again, four-point. Uh, the comfort thumb rest. So the thumb rest you have leveraged up here and you also it sticks out to the side. There it goes. So um, the Music Medic guys do these. So your thumb fits right in there. So um, it also rests but it also gives you a nice uh, firm feel back and forth. So of course all the way up to the high F sharp key. Um, crazy that there's absolutely no pearls, they're just nice little cups here, so you can go grab right into them, uh, no problem. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's an extra arm right here. So that's for when you hit the G sharp, it wants to pull up this F sharp guy right here. So it gives you a, a, what I call a second parachute, and you have an adjustment here to keep that, G sh that uh, F sharp from coming up, which is a common problem on a lot of saxophones. Um, nice big fat guard to do this. And one of the unique features that I've never seen on another saxophone, actually Selmer did it a little bit, it has what's called an altissimo assist key. So theoretically, to get a saxophone perfectly in tune, you need an octave vent for every note on the horn, but they compromise with two, so he goes, well, let's go one step farther than that, and let's go with three. So there's a third octave vent here. So you got this one here, body one here, and a second one on the neck, which is activated from a secondary octave key here. Where is it? Yeah. So you have one here, and you have one here. So what it's for is getting that altissimo, which I'm absolutely terrible at, but I, I find if, the, if it's a little bit unstable, like um, the, the A is a real pretty easy one to get. See, it's real unstable, but over here, it pops right out nice and easy. With the regular octave key, it's a little shaky. And, and with it, with the alt alternative one, pops right out. So anything above F sharp, you run over to that octave key and you can scream up another three octaves um, using that. And it basically um, makes those unfriendly notes a little friendlier. So it's kind of cool. So again, the A, uh, let's see if I can get it from the behind shot. With the regular key, it just comes out every time with that alternate. So if you're having a problem with your altissimo and it's all shaky, um, that brings it in. I can hit an A right off with that one, but it's iffy with the regular octave key. So it actually works. Another thing is there's actually another pad hole, see this little tiny guy right here, and that's for that C-sharp, is always a note out of tune, uh, especially on the second octave. And I can't demonstrate without it because it's working all the time. And again, Summer uh, went to that on their Series 3, but of course, according to Mr. Goodson, uh, the Summer one doesn't work and his does. So, um, a little extra vent there for that C-sharp to bring that C-sharp in tune. And um, um, it's normally closed with everything else. Yeah. So, um, what else on here? 
I have here nice little flips on all the lower keys, um, standard jobs over here. Um, this is silver plated and they put lacquer over the silver, which is, you know, kind of a good knife, bad idea. When it's brand new, it really preserves the sim silver because you can't, it doesn't tarnish because it, with the lacquer plating. Problem is it wears through and you're down to the, river, the silver again. So what I've done is, it's places where it's worn through the lacquer, just basically polished the silver and it looks pretty nice. Um, you can see some of the transition spots between the silver and the silver lacquered. So um, another option is just to strip it all down and take all the lacquer off. But it looks too good, uh, especially under the keys where you don't get any, um, you don't get any wear. So uh, I don't see any, couple little, just BB size dents. I don't even think they're even going to show up. Just one little dent by the guard right there. I mean that, yeah, right there. But that's it. Otherwise, really, really straight. And again, the silver doesn't show the scratches like a lacquered finish. So even on the bad side, um, that rubs against you in the chairs, uh, looks pretty nice. So, man, this got a really nice uh, appearance for your photo shoots and whatever on stage. The pads are virtually brand new. Um, not sure if you can see. Eh, you can see on, on the bell keys. Um, that the pads are basically brand new. I mean, there's not any water spots on them. Um, there you can kind of get them. Let's see if I can get the light on them a little better. Anyhow, take my word for it. The, the pads are virtually brand new on it. So somebody did a complete overhaul on this. This originally came, it came with those black uh, kangaroo pads. Um, I don't know if you can see this one. No, you can't. Uh, you can kind of see the edges of them. But anyhow, pads are brand new. So, um, ceiling are really nice. Somebody did a nice job putting them in. And again, the horn looks great. Plays great. Right down the B-flat. <laughs> nice big sound. <laughs> so, if for some reason that thing gets in your way, that extra octave key, two screws, and it just pops off. So some people take it off, take it off, put it back on. Um, not a big deal. Again, just two screws. So. Nice and firm right down to that little B flat. All engraved, you know, nice engraving on the neck, nice engraving on the bell. So, you know, really flashy looking horn and um, great playing at the same time. So you've got screw adjustments on your your um, your G sharp and your one and one B flat, and then uh, screw adjustments all the down the stacks too on the back side, which makes it a, a, a real easy setup. <clears throat> so so, um, plays nice. Um, I like putting uh, those bu buttons are a little slippery to me, and I put a little one of those mouthpiece patches on here. It just keeps my thumb in place. Gives you a real nice traction. <laughs> Anyhow, let's do a little thing here and um, see if we can do a little quick. Thank <laughs> you. 
got the idea. <laughs> Let's try the F sharp. Now it doesn't work on the F sharp because it, it actually plays another note. So um, pretty cool. Um, comes with the original case with uh, Mr. Goodson's name on it. Um, very nice backpack style case. And um, the zipper was a little flaky, so I added some nice um, uh, big backpack type straps on here. So it's got double protection on there. You got your Velcro, you got your snaps, you got your zipper. So it's not going to come open. And again, you can uh, throw the back straps on and uh, you're down the road. So anyhow, here you go. <laughs> So wonderful down there. So there it is, Steve Goodson model. This is uh, number 80026, which I'm thinking is around 1980 and maybe number 26 off the line. They didn't make very many of these and um, kind of a rare duck. Um, again, really nice comfort thumb rest. Uh, Music Medic, I think, charges about $35 um, for that thumb rest and it's really comfortable. I've got them on all my saxes now. And um, I, somebody put a little cork on here. I put a little rubber on there just to save your finger, and um, anyhow, for those guys that like silver horns, this is a, this is a butte, and again, and uh, brand new pads, just overhauled, so not too much over the price of the overhaul, so any questions, give, give me a buzz at uh, www.stevegraysaxes.com, that's S-T-E-V-E-G-R-A-Y-S-A-X-E-S.com. All right, signing off. Happy New Year, and uh, have a very good next year. <laughs>